The, yeah. This test is called the Complete Minnesota Dexterity Test, CMDT, also known as the Minnesota Rate of Manipulation Test, M M R T, I guess, M R M T, whatever, or the Minnesota Manual Dexterity Test. It's known by a lot of names, and it has a lot of subtests. The first one is the placing test. So you start by laying this board down and putting all the pieces in it, and then lift the board up carefully and lay it right next to it so that everything is still aligned. You're supposed to read the directions exactly to the client. So the object of this test is to see how fast you can put the blocks back into the holes with one hand. You would always, regardless of what it tells you in these directions, it might tell you to always do the dominant hand first, mm -hmm. but that's because these tests were made for industrial settings. In a health setting, you will always do the unaffected yeah. arm first. And this test was designed to be done standing. So that makes it not appropriate for some clients. So begin on your right, put the bottom block in the top hole and the next block in the next hole. So you will start with this block into this hole and work your way across. Okay. And then you will time the client. So go ahead and start that. So that's what you would do and that's the, this is called the placing test. So we can go ahead and stop and you would count how much time it took to do all of those. Okay. The next part of the test is called the turning test. Let's see if we can just lift this back up. You would do this after they had placed all of the blocks. So you wouldn't be trying to do this actually. Yeah. This is not the best way to do this. But The turning test, all the blocks would be in there and you would read your client the directions that say um, the object is to see how fast you can turn the blocks over like this. Mm -hmm. okay. So with your left hand you're going to start with the upper right hand hole. Okay. Okay. And um, actually this is a two-handed test so what they want you to do is turn it over like that. So pick it up with one. Right, so it says, with your left hand, lift the block from the upper right hole, and with your right hand, put it back, bottom side up, into the same hole. Work to the left across the board, picking up the blocks with your left. So this is what's called the turning test. Okay, after okay. she would get all the way across, then she would go back in the other direction. Okay, so this okay. way. Right, keep going that direction. And the final score, you can stop. The final score is the time it takes to turn over all the blocks. Okay. Okay. Again, when you read the directions for this test, it will tell you to do three trials of every single subtest. You will never get through all that with your clients. Mm -hmm. and, and we're not really using the norms for this because the norms were devised for industrial settings, for um, assessing people to see if they have the coordination appropriate to take a job. Okay. The third test is called the displacing test. And for this one, you remove the block in the top right corner. So now what you're going to tell your client is the object of this test is to see how fast you can move the blocks one at a time from one hole to another. And again, you'll always do it with the unaffected hand first. So what they're doing is they will move the blocks like this. When they get to the bottom, they'll move this one over and so okay. on. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. just, we'll have you here. Okay, so you would say, ready, begin, work as fast as you can. And that is called <coughs> the displacing test. Okay, so we'll stop there. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one is called the one-handed turning and placing test. So what you do with this one, you tell the client, the object of this test is to see how fast you can put the blocks back in the holes, bottom side up, with one hand. <coughs> so you're going to turn them over. Okay. So um, begin on your right. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. Sorry. Actually, this one you do with them. Um, you take this off again. Sorry. And so what they're going to do now is with one hand you'll pick up the peg, turn it over, okay. and put it in the hole. So you would, and you would go starting with the bottom peg into the top hole. Okay. Okay. 
So directions Ready? are mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Again on your right, put the bottom block in the top hole, bottom side up. So that was how the person would move through that. Okay? And then the last one is called the two-handed turning and placing test. So it starts in the same position here with your tray separate. And the object of this test is to see how fast you can put the blocks back in the holes, bottom side up, two at a time, using both hands. So what you'll do... Again, start with this one? You'll start with this, so you'll pick two at a time. Okay. And put them in like that. Okay. Ready? Okay, ready, go. Okay. So you can see there's a lot of things that you can do mm -hmm. with this test. Um, it's very time consuming to do this test actually the way it was meant to be administered, mm -hmm. but it's a good treatment technique and a lot of therapy clinics will use it, do any particular subtest, sometimes only a portion of it, not worrying about the whole thing, but doing something consistently and then timing it on multiple visits and comparing progress. Okay. All right, thank you. Did you have to even take